Hey, what's up guys? Um, unfortunately, the internet uh, around my area is actually down right now, which is a shame because there are times when your Xbox needs to connect to live to um, give you access to a lot of your uh, arcade games. Like, um, for example, uh, My Perfect Dark is actually stuck at play uh, like arcade demo or a trial game, and I can't actually access the full game unless you sign on live, which uh, isn't a huge deal because of my Android phone, so this actually gives me a pretty good opportunity to show off one of the big things the Android phone can do, and that's uh, called wireless tethering. So I have my Xbox here, and I have my phone down here. It's kind of hard to see my phone, but you can get the basic idea of the icons. What I have on my Xbox is a wireless G adapter. And what I can do, I don't really have good service, but what I can do is I can start up wireless tethering on my uh, droid. Let's say start tethering. Again, it's pretty hard to see, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, there, that should be good. Set that guy down, let it charge while it does its job. And now what I can do is I can go, this should work for anything wireless, by the way. I can connect my computer also. Go over to system settings and get on network. Configure. And since it is down, I should be able to scan for networks and find. Yep, there's Android Tether. And this won't let you really play games, um, but if your internet is down and. Oh. Just ask me if I want to let my Xbox connect. And I'll just say yes. There we go. And that should be connecting now. Yep. Again, it's not going to be the fastest internet. What this will allow you to do is sign into live. You can see your friends and it will update your achievements and status. So you can, if you're stuck at like arcade trial or anything like that, it'll uh, allow you to play your arcade games fully. Uh, it should connect soon. And anyone in the house should be able to connect to that and use the 3G to connect. Yep, you can connect to Xbox Live, but your current network configuration may limit your online experience. That's fine. Again, I will connect to Xbox Live. It's not fast enough to actually play any games. We actually, um, my friend Jesse actually tried to get on uh, Halo, started the game up, and got, I'd say, probably right to the point where it let you in the game and then just cut out. <laughs> but you can hear everyone and talk, so it is fast enough. I'd say that the 3G for Verizon is one and a half mega megabits down, which isn't the fastest. Five years ago, it was really fast, but now it's kind of slow. You want at least like eight, eight or eight to ten down to play quality games online. But yep, I'm signing to live. Friends list should be up. Yep, we're good. Now all my games that I have, I have a bunch of arcade games. I should like Mega Man 10, I should be able to play Mega Man 10 now. Yep, play game. Again, I can't really play online, but I can get online. And yeah. So if you have a droid phone, G1, um, the Aris, the droid, HTC I believe does it also. Any of those phones, if you have it rooted, you can go ahead and use tethering to do things like sign on to Xbox Live or have your computer connect to the internet and surf the web. So it's pretty cool. I was bored, thought I'd put this video up for you guys so you can see what I was talking about when I'd say tethering, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. If you have any uh, questions about how to get it set up, you, gotta, you do have to root your phone, so just uh, shoot me a message on here and I can let you know how I did it, and uh, it's pretty easy. It takes about five minutes to do, so um, that's about it. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.